hey guys what's going on today uh today i am actually doing a video on the best settings in modern warfare for your frames um they keep adding settings of the game and new things keep coming in so i figured uh it's it's probably a good time to update this and let some people know what the best settings are so let's jump right in all right first up in your options you go to the graphics tab uh display mode full screen always want to play in full screen if you take a look here uh you see these two bars here the vram usage for your graphics card windowed and full screen are fine i still recommend full screen because it's better optimized but if you go to full screen borderless those two bars shoot up and the same with full screen uh, extended window they are no go they put a lot more stress on your graphics card and you don't need that so full screen for the win um these settings do not matter much uh if you play whatever your monitor refresh rate is i i play on 240 so um yeah so set it to whatever you have um and then your render resolution this is fully dependent upon the resolution of your monitor um for me i play on 1920 by 1080 so i have this set to 100 percent. but you can set this to whatever your custom resolution is and uh have have that set up the way you need it um next up we have your aspect ratio i have it set to 16 uh, by 9 wide um this doesn't matter a lot uh if you put it on automatic it'll be 16 by 9 anyways but i just like setting it um v-sync you want to have this off okay v-sync is absolutely horrible it is guaranteed to be the worst setting uh, if you don't know what it is is basically is a process turned on in game and what it does is it it makes it so that your your monitor and your graphics card working together to get rid of screen tearing and have it be smooth but at the same time it makes your input delay really high like like you'll move your mouse and you'll just feel so delayed so i would not recommend using uh v-sync uh all right as far as this next one your custom frame rate limit i actually have these set for a few reasons so my in game is 240 because that's what my monitor is but in the menu which is where we are now and you can see up here in the top left i have it set to 60. um you don't need it on 240 frames if you're just in the regular menu before the gameplay there's no reason for it whatsoever um and out of focus this is like when you're tabbed out of the game and you're doing something on your desktop or whatever i have this set to 30 frames because again you don't need it to be higher than that there's no reason to put that stress on your graphics card while you're not actually playing the game so in game you know whatever your refresh rate is but lower that stuff down when it's coming to when you know when you're not in the game um so yeah uh next setting nvidia highlights this is just if you record or capture with nvidia i don't i use other things so i don't have this turned on um nvidia reflex low latency this is a very important one they have uh disabled enabled and enable plus boost enable plus boost optimizes as much as it can to give you a few more frames and i i highly recommend using this um i have a 2080 ti and i still use it because it is a really great setting um and i know it works it works differently per graphics card some graphics cards might not benefit from this but you'll have to test that on your own um you know display game you know this this stuff right here does not matter uh but down here to your textures okay so i have my streaming quality set to normal but i have on-demand texture streaming turned off i don't use it i i don't know i don't think it really makes a difference for me it's just here to stream the textures in instead of loading them through your computer and that's fine if you want to use this you can i do not personally you can set limits on how much you want to stream and all that stuff uh, this to me I, I don't use this at all i don't think it's worth um but i have it turned off and whatever so my regular texture resolution i have set to normal you can set it to high but you don't really need that um i used to play with it on very low but the camouflages on your guns look like play-doh so if you set it to normal all your camos look just fine so that's why i play with that on normal texture filter and to i play with low particle quality low bullet impacts and sprays enabled tessellation disabled and again we have this one disabled um i have bullet impacts and sprays enabled because i like to see where bullets were shot um and stuff like that just adds that extra detail to the game uh if we move down here to shadow and lighting all of these turn them off uh direct x ray tracing is definitely not going to be good for your frames and in this game i'm going to be honest with you i i've tried to play this game with ray tracing and it doesn't make a difference at all i don't see any crazy reflections or lighting it, it just it doesn't work well for this game but you don't need to shadow map resolutions uh cache spot shadows and sun shadows only add more stress on your graphics card that you really don't need um your particle lighting you don't need these Am ambient occlusion uh screen space reflection screen space reflection really doesn't do jack anyways to be honest and neither does ambient occlusion either there's not it's not a huge difference that's not something you're really gonna notice um so i would just have these disabled 
at the bottom here i play with anti-aliasing off um i actually no matter what even when i play say i'm playing a single player story game and i can run it on ultra right <clears throat> even when i'm running everything on ultra i still turn anti-aliasing off because it doesn't anti-aliasing it smooths out these edges that you see so this is anti-aliasing and this is it off you can see it's a little jaggedy but it actually makes everything to me at least it makes everything look sharper and i like the sharp detail quality that it gives me so i like to have it off regardless but some people have it on and it blurs lines or whatever i don't like anti-aliasing that's a personal choice but for your most frames possible have it off because look if you turn it up these do go up um it's not a lot but i i you know i do like to have it off um depth of field you can have that disabled filmic strength you can have that down all the way world motion blur turn that off weapon motion blur uh some people play with this on some people play with it off it's just your weapon gets blurred so that's not the biggest deal but world motion blur never had that on it makes it very hard to see people um film grain uh, have that down on zero dynamic resolution disable what this is for is your dynamic resolution fps target so what this actually does is if your computer runs really low specs like you say you have an old graphics card an old cpu or whatever those things are uh your dynamic resolution when you turn it on the game will dynamically change the resolution of your game to give you your fps target i have this disabled i don't use it i don't recommend using it unless you're really desperate to have a constant frame rate and your computer just can't handle it so i would definitely just uh, enable that if you are looking for that all right next we'll go to the general tab there's not too many settings in here for your graphics or like making things smoother i will say though i play with an fov of 120 all the way up um because i like to see the most i can but i will say this actually puts some stress in your graphics card because now you have to load so much more out of your regular view that's more pixels which means it is more stress in the graphics card i can say it's not that much it's really not normal i think normal is just 90. some people i don't know who would play this on 60 but i play 120 just because i like it that much more and uh, my ads uh, feel the view is affected this doesn't affect your fps at all um other than that though uh these don't affect fps but they do help you see i put my brightness on 55 gives you a little extra heads up like when you're playing s d and the rest of these don't matter for your um fps except for down here um if you know if you're wondering how to see your fps without having to use the nvidia counter you can turn them on right here under uh telemetry you can just turn on your fps counter server latency packet loss all these different things you can turn on um and then for the last part of this i am going to go over your best audio settings for hearing people see there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in this game that is kind of uh it's kind of misleading as far as your audio i'll hear footsteps that just aren't there sometimes and some of these settings here aren't even the best i'm going to give you what i use personally for the best audio and this is how i know where people are almost all the time um and it's not on this game you have to get it separately in your computer but i'll show you after all right so first up though your audio your audio mix put that on boost high um this is going to give you the best audio for hearing footsteps uh that's about as much info as i can give you on that um my master volume i have in 35 music i shut that off i don't care for music the dialogue i put down low so i don't have people like the playable characters in game screaming in your ear your effects i keep up to 100 because this is footsteps gunshots everything you need to hear to know where people are juggernaut music disable it hit marker sound effects i have on classic just they sound a little more satisfying um and then the rest of these are completely up to you although i will say voice chat i have 100 and sometimes i even turn it down to like 20 because people get really loud um but yeah so that's just your settings here in um modern warfare and so we're actually going to go jump into settings on your pc now here it goes all right so here we are on the desktop if you go to your start menu right and you type in power go to your power settings you can go to additional power settings and then you can these are your power plans right and this is completely optional if you want to do it uh, but i recommend it because it doesn't hurt your computer at all um it's power plants and if you don't see a high performance or an ultra one or whatever it is click uh, additional plans there'll be more down here but you're going to want to set a high performance or an ultra whatever your highest amount is because what this is is it actually allows your uh, computer to use more power from your power supply um and which means it's going to be better for your graphics card for every component in your computer so this does help at least load and boost frames a small amount it's not a ton but it's it's definitely it definitely helps um especially if you're struggling with frames all right guys and now 
my most important tip for audio in this game uh it's it's not something you do inside modern warfare you have to get it separately it's actually called dolby atmos and sad to say this is a subscription based thing um, I had a free subscription and I'm going to keep going with it because it's really great. It expires in seven months for me, but what it does. Um, so if you have headphones that support Dolby digital, even if you don't, this still works with it. So if you have a, you know, digital surround sound 7.1 or whatever you have in your, in your headphones or right now I use Astro a forties, uh, TR with the mix amp TR. Um, I got a, I got a crazy audio setup going here, but, um, the big thing about this is, is it actually virtualizes all audio through your computer and sets them in specific directions and it helps a lot um so for me uh oh sorry hold up um when you have dolby atmos you have to go to wherever your whatever your sound's coming through so for me i have this coming through system for my game go to property spatial sound and set dolby atmos for your headphones and apply it and then you get these settings and for me these are all my best settings for sound in this game if 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 you've never used dolby atmos i would highly recommend i think they have a free trial you can at least try it i was able in a custom game in modern warfare to close my eyes and partially guess where uh bots were coming up in a custom game and i was lasering almost you know i, I wouldn't it was 100 percent. you know it was like 60 70 percent you gotta trust your sensitivity a lot too based off your ear sound but you'll know exactly where people are coming from so you want to have surround virtualizer on this virtualizes all your audio and uh, basically helps your headphones put them in directions so you know where everything is and these are the best settings i have to get uh footsteps and gunshots everything you need out of the game um but yeah that is without a doubt my most important 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 settings you can actually get this stuff for headphones or home theater but obviously if you're gaming here for modern warfare on a pc you're going to be using headphones um and where you actually get this is if you go to the uh, microsoft store you can actually go right in here and search up dolby at most and uh, here it is the first app here you can install it um it's uh, it's free to download and install but you do need to activate a subscription like i said i think there's a free trial uh, but definitely give that a try and see if that's something you like because i do highly recommend it it is probably my absolute like best tip for audio it, it is really good all right guys that is going to conclude everything in this video if you do have any more questions about anything graphics you know settings and game whatever put it down in the comments i'll read them i'll let you know and if there's a lot of them i'll even make another video on it but i can answer any questions you have down in the comments if you do like the video today give it a like uh subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because i do post daily and you don't want to miss my videos I mean, you might, but I would say probably not. Wink. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Two, three, turn up the